Hi, this is Dror Moshe Kasuto. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe and like this video. You have many, many people today that feel related to the holy nation of Israel and feel connected to the Jewish people and they're not Jewish at all. And their souls are screaming, I want to learn Torah, I want to serve Hashem, I want to know Hashem, I want to pray, I want to put filin, I want to visit Jerusalem, I want to see the Holy Land, I feel like I'm one of you guys, and they love the, the, the IDF, they're donating to, to the land of Israel, they, 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 whatever, their heart is, 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 is a flaming fire of pure passion to join the nation of Israel, and, and, and they're Gentile, you cannot recognize their connection because they don't have the same tradition. Now, Jewish people, they have a stronger tradition because the Jewish tribe, the tribe of Yehuda, been blessed by Hashem to keep the, the torch of Torah, to be observant until the last generation. This is why you can recognize the Jewish people very easily. You can, because they had a certain blessing that kept them united and kept them serving the Creator based on the ancient tradition. And they've been blessed in keeping that torch and illuminating and shining it to the wide world. Now, many people today, even in the Jewish world, are not being so observant and don't really know the purpose and the mission of, of their lives and they just live certain like regular life without understanding the importance of them being Jewish. But the other people from the ten tribes of, of Israel, they are completely lost in their connection to tradition because they've been separated very early from, uh, from, from the tribes of Judah. And when they've been separated was before of the time of the Tanaim and the Amoraim that wrote the Mishnayot and the Gemara before the time of Rabbi Akiva, before the time of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, before the time of all those known and famous righteous people that set the rules of Halakha, of Jewish rules for us, the Jewish nation, Jewish people today. So the ten tribes left very early, in days that we were still sacrificing animals on complete stones, altars, in the middle of the field, without the temple, before the days of glory, before the days that the Shulchan Aruch been written, before the days that we became to be Am HaSefer, the nation that are holding the book, that are learners and scholars, before those days. That's why it's very hard for those ten tribes to understand how to come back to their roots. So, what's the mission? What's the purpose? What should we do? The mission is, first of all, to recognize, to understand, to realize that we are here in a world that its purpose is much, much deeper than we assume. It's much deeper than keeping Shabbat and eating kosher and lighting the holy candles of Hanukkah in your house. Of course you need to do it. Of course all those things are fantastic. That's our tradition and we must keep our tradition and keep on passing the torch to the next generation. But what that is going undercover, what the Creator is planning to all of us, that in one moment from the ground, from the unknown, from the complete darkness, will reveal is a complete redemption of 12 tribes that will rise from the ground in no time. In no time, suddenly, you're going to have hundreds of millions of people that will ask the Creator with such flaming fire and holy desire that they will know Hashem and they will know their legacy from within. They won't need no proofs, they won't need no evidence, they won't need no rabbi to tell them what to do. They will go like lions to conquer the temple, to conquer the holy mountain of Jerusalem, of, of, of Zion. Only your inner desire for the truth revealed the truth inside of yourself. 
And based on that life experience of yours, you should know that if you will just arouse that person, no matter who he is, to search for the truth, he will find it. If you are, or for an example, Jewish, or one of the lost tribes, you're going to find the reality that you are part of the Israeli nation, and you will click, and it will click. You'll find yourself desiring the Torah, like you, 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 are, you built from it. That's your, those are your bones. Those are your muscles. That's the blood that is running in your veins. If you're an Israeli soul, you're an Israeli soul. I cannot change it. I do, who am I to start talking to you? Do I know who you are? Can I understand the greatness of your soul? From which tribe you are, your, 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 your soul carved? Can I recognize can I understand the, like, the, the, the tribe of God, the tribe of Issachar, the tribe of Zvulun, the tribe of Naphtali, the, 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 the tribe of Asher, the tribe of Shimon? Holy, holy angels, who am I? I am from the tribe of Judah. Thank you, Hashem, I'm happy. One of the tribes. He received a certain blessing that made me to be who I am today. But different tribes have a different life story, and they've been blessed in different blessings. And they have different skills and abilities and talents that are beyond my reach. I can never understand how great the rest of the tribes are. I don't have a clue. I can only respect them and to wait for their blessings on me. If you will look deep into the Midrashim, to the old ancient scripts, the stories on the ten tribes, what that took place in the days when our tribes, our ancestors, went to Egypt. If you will read more than what is written in the Bible, if you will read the ancient stories, you will be amazed from those stories. How huge and righteous and pure and powerful they were. How kind and holy and amazing and fantastic they were. They were warriors and they were all brave and strong and powerful with no end. Now, can I be judgmental on them? <laughs> Shalom, God forbid. Cannot understand the holiness and the purity and the greatness of those souls. And all those souls, and we're talking about hundreds of millions of people, and it's a simple calculation of the numbers. The Jewish nation today are in an amount of something like, let's say, 15 million people, 13, 15 million people today. If the Holocaust would not take place 70-something years ago, we would be twice as much. So today we would be something like 30 million without all the rest of the decrees that our nation, Jewish nation, went through in the last 2,000 years by the church and by the mosques and whatever we went through in years on years of exile that we've been killed in, in, in the dungeons and, and been executed in the forest for thousands of years we're suffering, we would be a nation of something like 50 million people. <coughs> now, like we said, this is only one, one and a half tribes. You need to make that number times 10. You're talking about something like between 300,000 to who knows? Maybe the rest of the tribes are more blessed than us. Maybe like the tribe of Shimon, they have... You don't know. They're in Pakistan, in Uzbekistan. They're maybe, maybe they're in China. You don't know. You can never know. Maybe you have a billion people over. You don't know. You don't have a clue who they are. And when the spirit of Mashiach will hover above and shake the ground a little bit, all the ashes away, the sadness and depression from our faces, suddenly you're going to see pillars of fire rising from the ground, and people are going to wake up to say, hey, I'm also Jewish, I'm also Israeli, I also... Like, like we see that today. We see those things happening today. We have new subscribers every day that are claiming, I'm Israeli, I'm Hebrew, I'm this, I'm that. From Africa, they're waking up, and from Far East, they're waking up. All over the place, claiming to be Jewish, claiming to be Israeli. So, what are you doing with that? It's a movement. It's a huge movement in the world. What that we need to do is to help Mashiach to do his job. That's what we need to do. 
We need to help the spirit of Mashiach to flow, to hover above every person. So what we need to do, we need to help Mashiach to remove the sadness and the depression from the heads and the souls of our people. To respect everyone and to love everyone and to cherish every moment with every soul. And everyone that you see that he has some spark of good inside of him, respect him and love him and welcome him and let him in and hug him. Support him with all your power and respect him and you will see that he will grow. You don't need to change no one. You don't need to convince no one. If someone asks you, answer. You don't need to go and teach and you don't need to go and spread. You need to shine. The simple light of your soul. The simple light that is treasured inside of you. And every one of us are different and our light is different and you should shine your light and I should shine mine. <coughs> I will shine to those ones that are surrounding me and you will shine to those ones that are surrounding you and together we're going to shine the world and we're going to wash the filth from the world. And everyone will wake up. And it's not our job to complete and to finish and to bring it already. It's happening. What are we doing here? How we woke up? How in the world we woke up? I woke up from nowhere. With no chance. I didn't have no rabbi to speak to me. No one taught me one word of Torah. Nothing. Zero. Nothing at all. From within. Only from within. I was clueless, I was completely unaware to godliness as a child, as a teenager, I didn't know anything. <coughs> Some spirit started to move inside of me. You need to believe in yourselves, you need to count on yourselves like there's no one else in the world. I know that rabbis and I know that people around the world are running all over your self-esteem and telling you, oh, you're nothing, you're zero, you're far, convert, you want to convert, no, nah, no, nah, whatever, talking and talking and talking. Listen, you're not serving people. We're not serving people. We're serving God. We're serving Hashem. Serve Hashem. But I want to convert. Listen to me. Do your job and Hashem will take care of you. Do your mission. Be loyal to Hashem. Don't serve people. Don't act and don't play. Don't pretend to be something that you are not. You don't need no stamp and you don't need no approval. And I'm not saying you are Jewish. I'm not saying you're Jewish. I'm saying that if the Creator wants you to convert and to become Jewish, you will find a way to be Jewish. Don't lie one lie for that conversion. Don't pretend no one moment that you're something that you're not. Be honest, be truthful to who you are. The real righteous rabbis will receive the throne of honor from heaven. And the liars that are destroying communities and humiliating souls will be so humiliated by heaven that you cannot imagine and you cannot understand. You should believe in the truth of your search and you should keep on searching. You should keep on calling the Creator from the depths of your soul and you should not be scared of no one. We are not serving people. We are here to reveal the faith in one God to the wide world. Believe in yourselves that the Creator, He is the one that woke you up. He is the one that is communicating with you from within. That you are recognizing His individual private supervision on your life with your eyes. And count on that supervision. Let your prayers go out and they will be answered. And you will see wonders and amazing miracles in your lives. Amen.
We hope you enjoy this video very much. Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always and your request should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.